There are also what we call, so bash has variables. Obviously, when we start scripting in it, we're going to need those. But you can actually use them anytime. So if you do something like my bar equals 8. So this essentially created a new variable and started equal to 8. Now, if I want to access that variable, you just use the dollar sign followed by the variable name. And now it's going to echo that variable, in this case, 8. Make sense? Um, you can't use, if you do something like this, the spaces aren't optional. I mean, you can't have them. If you try to put in spaces, Bash is going to try to run a command called my run a program called my bar and pass it these two things as arguments. So if I do this, I'm going to get an error. To create a variable with no spaces, you have to do this. It's not limited to numbers, you know. Uh, it's not really a, you can either, I, I guess maybe the best way to think about it is Bash is very loose typing. It doesn't call something an int, it doesn't call something a string. It's really doing something much more basic. It's every time it sees this, it's substituting this, right? Like it's not even thinking about these things as variables necessarily. So if I do something like that, I can do the same kind of echo. So on and so forth. So, uh -huh. Okay, so you can also, uh, you can set variables equal to the result of a command. So say I want a variable, and I want that variable to store essentially the output of this, right? So let's create a variable and call it uh, my f files, right? I can do an equal sign. And then if I want this to be equal to the output of the command, what I do is I do the dollar sign followed by parentheses. Parentheses aren't optional. And then I type in the command I want. So I could do ls, and then I can just repeat that syntax from before. Well, let's do the one that did us. OK, so I can run this. It prints no output because it's saving it to a variable. But now if I echo that variable, I get what would have been the output of this command. So this can be really handy when you want to start. I mean, it's the common use case is you want, you want a variable that holds the list of all the files, right? So doing that would give me the list of all the files in this directory. Or maybe you want a variable that holds, so you name is a command that will print out essentially like the current version of the operating system you're running. So sometimes this is handy. You can run this and then compare it to things if you need to do things in your script differently based upon what kind of system it's being run on. So if I echo this now, you'll see, okay, I'm running it on Linux, right? So on and so forth. So